Hey, I'm Kev Care. Must come. Welcome back to iRacing. Has I've seen this the last week of the season. I kind of went missing part of the season, so I don't actually remember. But we're around Bathurst in our skippy, as we've got 20 cars here for a 10 lap race, and we had a number 11 car right in the middle of the pack. And the iRacing rise, I rating rise as right at the front. You've got two thirty fours from the top four. And 235s from the next four. You can see first it's 37s. I would have done like a 37 if my that was legal. So I would have been like 11th. But as you can see, like almost half the field did not qualify, including ourselves. So, there should be a bit of a humdinger here. Uh, so we'll get rid of this. Good luck, everybody. Nice flat, Paul. All right. Hello, everyone. Go from this fucking last bit. The air temp is 26. So, Celsius. starting 17. Nice clear view in front. Okay, Kev, get ready. Go, go, go. Looks like P1 has gone off in hell corner. Already? That was freaking quick, wasn't it? We've got a decent start. Now we approach the mountain. This is where the fun's going to begin. See if we all make it through. Well, so we're technically 16th or 15th now. So we might not want to push it. You can see there's a bit of a gap between the top five and the rest already. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Left side. Clear on the left side. See, this is why you love the skippies round it. There we go. We made it through without any, any damage. As in, it's like third may have crashed. So that was a nice little breather. Now let's get going again. <laughs> As I said, the car in front is damaged. Looks very slow. Easy car on your left. All clear on the left. I think we're the only car that got away without like any damage at all, thankfully. Go through the dip up. So he did a great damage through there on the opening of that. Oh, here we go. There's an incident in the dip up. Looks like it's Schmidt. Irwin is leading the race. Well, a bit of a gap in front. But you can see why we backed off there. There's, there's always that corner. Something happens on the opening of that. Seeing F3, seeing me, seeing anything around it. We've made it through. Oh, first got tangled up in that, and it's like. I mean, they've got from Hell Corner then, but they're like 20 seconds up the road. We might be a bit lonely for the rest of this race. We'll see. We'll see our pace. See how quick we are. Like I said I was like three seconds off in practice, so. Hopefully, a bit quicker than that. This time around, it's like guys are pitted. Probably did that last corner in second. Okay, Kev, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. P5. What? Oh, right, so this is a guide on how to get a top five round batters, apparently. <laughs> Just don't crash on the opening lap. There you go, you've done it. But yeah, I do wonder if we will see any other drivers, because guys in front are quicker than me, I believe. So it be all about the guy behind me. He's just three seconds back. That's how quick they are. I just feel like I'm slow going through there as so we go through the cutting. 
the annihilator of half the over half the field. Just slightly lifts. I don't want to end it now. So we survived the opening of that. A bit wide. As they made a mistake behind it seems. So very much so, we've kept pace with the guy in front. I'm not sure if they got damaged though. And again, I can't really tell from the time. <laughs> I thought the guy by and made a mistake, but it looks like he's actually gained half a second through the downhill section. So we could have about hit over the top five. We can just about see fourth in front. The leader has just done a 236.35. Be taking that much cup. I'm doing 36s. Let's get the old tab up. Bind is much quicker. We're gonna have a battle hit. Be a top five. It's like I bind him's quicker as well. Yellow flag, caution. Oh, I thought it was four for a second, damn it. There goes our fellow Kevin. Always oh, sad seeing that. Well, the fellow Kevin leaves, that is. Much smoother through that. Still a bit cautious. A bit better through for his elbow, so oh wow, we've actually gained quite a bit. The guy behind. It's gonna be one of those races where you have a battle, but we might not engage the battle I don't see until the second half of the race. But pace is gonna continue being like this. Fastest lap for Irwin, 233.88. Mm. I guess I never had a scrappy lap and I've had a bit of a better one. That's the only reason I can think of for the gap being Almost exactly the same as you dip into the 36s. Good luck. That's your quickest so far. You're much quicker than that though. Like I said much quicker. We even lost a couple of tents in that first corner. Hell corner. Gets a bad reputation though. It's not that bad, is it?
I think we're all in this lot. Huh? Looks like P4 has binned it in the S's. Oh, nice. Such a chance. They're gone. So we're actually batting for fourth now. As you can see, the top, top three are pretty far ahead. I think they're the only cars who avoided that first, that power lot. That's the new fastest lap for Irwin, 233.33. Ridiculous. Oh, we might have a mislap trapped in front now, looking at the mini map. Nice final corner. Okay, still into the 235s. Damn it, it's still half a second quicker than me behind. I know, it's only a couple of tenths, I thought it was half a second though. But yeah, now just seven drivers have not pitted. What the hell? Oh, he's getting a draft. No! The gap behind is now 1.3. That reminds me. Oh dear, go easy flat now through that. So it's slightly through here just with that bump there. Gained a bit of that. Seems to be as inconsistent as each other. Like we're a couple of tens down there, a couple of tens down this lap so far. The guy in sick. Well, he has similar pace actually, but. Almost 15 seconds back. And the guy in seventh doesn't, so definitely just us two battling it. A bit slow in through the chase there. Yeah, definitely second gear for the final corner. Okay, Kev, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. You've just done a 236.00. Now these are where the cars speed up. So there's a guy behind. Just those couple of tents, but you can see he got into drive range.
We're equally strong over the top of the mountain, though. That's, that's good for us. Took the cut in nicely for once. Okay, Kev, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. I'm trying. That's a much better run through Boy's elbow, though. I wonder if they're just sitting there as well. We like. need to push if we're going to hold this position. I know they're maybe a touch bit quicker than us, so they're just maybe holding it back. Like they can just afford to sit here for a couple of laps. Are we going half a second and one quarter? That's your best lap in the session. Uh, someone's crashing here though. Yeah, we're like a second and a half slower than the front three, but... The gap behind is now 0.5. Oh, half a second slower than the guy behind. That's with a toe though for them. Damn it, slow down way too much. Benefits the three's gone off in the dipper. Well, third. Hello. That's right up here. I think he knows I backed that up way too much. down a bit too much for Forest Elbow that. But like you want to get tight, but that was maybe a bit too tight. As, hey, now we're battling for a Bojum. See, just survive here. And now he's right in the toe. He might get us on the straight, or here even. You dive it, no, he's back to off, back to off. He is waiting. They're just waiting. He's all over you. Keep your exit speeds up. Stay smooth. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P3. Your lap time was 235.44. God damn it, screw it up. You try staying smooth in the furnace of hell. Now just the top five have not pitted as on your left. We're gonna have to let them go. Careful, still there. Still there. 
clear left. Come on, Kev. Keep pushing. We might get him back. Just going to try and stay in the tow to the final lap. So now we're the hunter, let's see if we're good at hunting. Just need to learn about your prey, don't you? you just sit here for that or two and then pounce. Quicker up Ooh, through the corner. Into the corner, so I say through that section, but we're quicker through. That's encouraging. As it's ridiculous how far in front the leaders are, by the way. <laughs> 35 seconds. They could literally pop into the crowd over beer and come back out in the lead. Oh, he's obviously pushing like a madman through the chase. Let's end on to the penultimate that pit. Stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. B4, two laps left. Good consistency, keep him coming. Oh, he's wide. So we won the power nice and early though, they did. So I just be patient this lap. They ain't let the madness unfold on the last lap. Oh, you really do gain in the toe, don't you? See that couple of attempts of a second deficit I have? Gone away with this toe. If I stay in it though, that is. Maybe the toe is letting us stay in it. Over the mount over the top of the mountain. Oh, he went a bit wide through that. He got a great exit out there. Like he had. Was it push the pass or curves or whatever? DRS. So there we go then. Time for the final lap showdown. Keep the pressure on. Don't give him a break. Not. He was all kinds of sideways there. Here we go, white right flag time. Good lap, that's your best in the session. Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace.
to set this up after the mountain now. The gap in front is now not So we know we can close through the dipper. Better. Better food, Corey. Is that? No, that's not Corey, is it? It's coming up, isn't it, Corey? Get ahead of myself. I'm going to put a dip in now. This is Corey, isn't it? Corey bends. Oh, he's almost under the wall. We're pushing like hell on this final lap. Half a lap to go. Told you we were quicker. No, I didn't get the exit. Go, go, go. Suck in. It's not working. It's not a bike. Oh, he's weaving like it's freaking ski season. On your right. Clear right. Oh, he gave it up. Well done, Kev. Great move. Keep it up. Did he think he could cut back? What the hell? Getting champagne. Great drive, that's a podium. Nice. Oh my god, we we're a bit lucky with that one. Like gave it up to us. But man, that wasn't maybe the most exciting battle, but it's one of those where you're battling and you're kind of planning for Basically, the final out for all of it because of how strong the toe is around it. It's a bit like, say, Monza. Because there's not really any difference between us, as you saw over the top of this mountain here. But hey, third from 17th. We'll definitely take that. That's our like, best result this season, I think, in the Skippy. It's not been one of my best seasons in Skippy. But yeah, I hope you enjoy some Battle's magic. Here down under. I think it's the last race of the season, I think, so it might be a couple of weeks till you see any more white racing, but boy, you enjoy coming back to the skippy. And I hope you do as well. Thanks so for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, you know what time it's for. I've never tried this with the skippy. It'd be interesting to see if we can actually do the jump. All right, the straight line, straight line, power through. Oh, he did it! Oh, he did it! <laughs>